It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Y'all, it's Friday. I'm ready for the weekend. Hey, no, no, okay, it's okay. So it's Friday, September 18th. I'm going to do this real quick so y'all can get on with your way and enjoy your weekend and sing your Rebecca Black. Y'all probably don't even know who that is. Look it up. Friday by Rebecca Black. So I want y'all to think about something. Think about it. Think, think, think. What is something you have achieved this school year or what is something you would like to achieve in the next month? Pause this video and think about it. Something I have already achieved this school year is that I'm doing a video. Like, we're in classes, we're running, we got Google Classroom up, like everything is up and that's perfectly fine. That's a huge achievement. Some of y'all have achievements for completing your work. That's an achievement. Getting a good grade, that's an achievement. Going to a class, that's an achievement. So just like those achievements that we've all made, we're gonna talk about China and their achievements. So yes, we're talking about China in the Middle Ages. And we're going to talk about the achievements that they made in China. So before we get there, we got to go through some vocabulary. We always go through vocabulary. So our first word is subservient or subordinado, which is obedient or less powerful. So if you look at this picture, this guy is less powerful than that one. So he's subservient. Merchants is our next word or Comerciantes, which is people who own shops or other businesses that are involved with buying and selling. So this guy right here, he's the merchant, he's selling things. Our last word is prestige or prestigio, which is importance in the eyes of other people because of great things being in high position and having wealth. So if you look at this guy right here, this guy looks familiar. If y'all know who this guy is, y'all should comment on this video for some honor dollars to let me know who this guy is. You might be right, you might be wrong. But this guy right here, he looks important. He looks like he has some great things to do. He's got his little suitcase, if you can see it, his little suitcase. So he's showing prestige, like that's the presence he's bringing. Why is all that important? Because it's important to know that China has a hierarchy, yes. Just like the hierarchy we've been learning about with the nobles and the peasants and all them other people in between. That was a hierarchy. China has a hierarchy in the Middle Ages too. But guess what? Peasants aren't the lowest. What? Okay, so let me tell you. So it starts with the emperor. The emperor is the person who has like, they, they have the most power, but they ain't really got real political power, but they, they up there. Then we have our shogun, who is the military leader who like ruled Japan. Then we have our daimyo, who is the noble lords. And we have our samurai. I know y'all heard of samurai. Mm -hmm. Samurai, those are the paid soldiers. And then we have our ronin, which is the master class samurai. Then we have our peasants. Yep, they're there. They are farmers and fishermen. And then we have our artisans, who are our craftspeople. And then lastly, we have our merchants, who are our salespeople. So that's kind of the hierarchy of how it goes in China. So now, guess what you're about to do? What do you always do when I do a video? You read for gist. So you are going to read for gist on pages or slides two through five. So two, three, four, five. You're gonna read for gist and you're gonna write your gist in a yellow box. What color box? Yellow box. What color box? Yellow box. You heard it three times, so you should know. The yellow box is where you write your gist. Talking about China in the Middle Ages, the first one, you're gonna talk about the achievements that China has had. You're gonna write your gist, 10 words or less, 10 words or less about the main points of what you just read. So the main points of the ach achievements, 10 words or less. Then you're gonna come over here, you're gonna write about the daily life. You're gonna write this gist in a yellow box telling us about the daily life of China. And then lastly, you're gonna read about the social hierarchy, which is kind of similar to what we were talking about before and you're gonna write your gist, 10 words or less, in the yellow box. I know you see a blue box, I know you see some lines, I know you see some stars. You're not there yet, boo-boo. You're worried about the yellow boxes right now, then you're gonna watch Mr. Smith's video, and you're gonna listen to him model for you and tell you what your next steps are. So, go ahead, read for gist, then click on Mr. Smith's video, and then follow the rest of the directions. I'll see y'all later, cause I gotta get my dog. Bye. Yeah.